In today's leaf painting tutorial, we're going to learn to use a chisel blender and pat blend. I like chisel blenders because they have shorter filaments than a traditional flat brush. That allows us to get into smaller areas than a flat wood and it gives us greater control when we're blending. We're going to begin today's leaves, they're a little bit of a pastel tone, by mixing a little bit more green. And to do that, we're mixing yellow, black, and white to give us a pastel tone. And because we're brush mixing, we don't really need to worry about whether or not it's the perfect shade of green every time. We're just looking for a nice soft tone. And I'm gonna begin by blocking in the edge of the leaf. So again, when you're using this chisel blender, if you're working inside the object that you're painting, you can use the corner edge of the chisel blender and the sharp flat edge to help create the shape that you need. And don't worry if your leaf shape grows or changes as you go. And I'm leaving a little bit of space open here for a dark value. Quite often I turn my paintings quite a bit so that I get the right angle. So if I'm coming in from this side, I can again get that nice sharp edge on the leaf here. And I smooth the paint out while I'm applying it. It's easier to blend smooth paint. And I'm not putting a ton of paint on the surface. We want enough to make sure that the paint moves, but not so much that it swims around while we're trying to blend it later on. Turn this back around. I'm gonna make sure that I come right up against this vein line. And I've left a little bit of clear space here so that I know where the dark will be applied. And I'm just gonna wipe the brush I'm going to wipe the brush between the folds of the paper towel, clean out the excess. I'm going to pick up a little bit of black and just brush mix it in here to make a dark value. I want to place the dark along the top of the vein line here. Now right up into here. I'm also going to place dark at the base of the leaf. I went right over top of that first layer of green. And again, as I'm applying it, I'm kind of smoothing it out as I go. My leaf is changing shape, that's okay. Wipe the brush between the folds of the paper towel again. Pat blending. So pat blending is one of the most important blending types that you can use. And you're just gonna put part of your brush on one tone and the other half on the other and pity pat where the two values meet. Always kind of straddling the line. Because the paint is wet while you're working, you may have to wipe it off in between and continue on because you'll pick up paint as you go. Just very gently pity pat where the two colors meet. Then even here I still have to angle the brush a little bit to make sure I get this smaller portion blended. The next step is going to be to apply a lighter value and I'm going to use yellow and white We're going to apply that right up against this vein line. Wipe the brush. And where those two colors meet, we're going to pity pat again. And because I don't want to blend this edge, I'm going to leave it nice and sharp here. I want to further highlight that area. I'm going to pick up a little bit of brighter color. And a smaller spot. So basically I don't go quite as far out as I did with that first highlight. 
So I see all the layers of highlight and shadow in between. I'm going to add a brighter color. And pity pat where those two colors meet. I might also want to add a little bit of highlight. Pick a few spots here. Maybe here. Wipe the brush. And just very gently blend them in. The other thing we can do if we need to resharpen out that vein line again, so I can take a bit more dark and just very carefully come in and smooth it out. 